Hello and welcome along to the Wixie Boy Kitchen. Come on in, come on. Come on guys, we're gonna do this today. Right, so, first two episodes, we've concentrated on curry, right? Made an absolutely fantastic do piazza. Um, and then we made the basic curry, which we need in all the other curry dishes. We're moving away from curry, we're gonna go for something just as British, I expect. It's called cock pie. This is one of my own recipes. Um, I think we did adapt it from possibly Waitrose magazine once, I'm not sure. Now for the sauce, there's an interesting use of the roux. Uh, we're not gonna do it with milk, we're actually gonna do it with chicken stock. Um, but yeah, we'll get onto that. So, what do we need? We need, as always, two people. Two breasts of chicken, or 200 grams, whatever you like. We need, so I've, got, I've just done the potatoes, so we're gonna have mash, but you don't need to worry about that. Um, we are gonna ne also need a leek. We're gonna chuck an onion in it as well, I think. Um, quite often put a carrot in it, but I've not got one of those today, but it's not essential. Um, then you need to make a roux, so that's around 25 grams of butter to 20 grams of flour. About equal measures really, just so you get a nice roux, but we'll have a look at that. And 400 mil of chicken stock, or is it 200 mil? I think we do 400. We're gonna do 400. We'll see. Well, what the best, probably the best thing to do is use the chicken stock that the chicken's being cooked in, because then we get an extra flavor to it. Let's get cooking. First things first, let's do the leek. So we're gonna chop off that, probably chop off a little bit more. Uh, what I like to do, make this a little bit easier, is just sort of crisscross it. Just gonna get rid of that actually. We'll give this another wash in a minute. So we just, nothing. What I like to do with this is, okay, we will give that a little rinse. Stick that in our Joseph Joseph colander, colander, coriander, colander. Right, okay. So, next up, onion, finely sliced. Just gonna whack this under me board. Stop him sliding around. Right, so, how do we do thinly sliced, you may ask? Cut it in half, take off the end, not too worried about this, we're just going to rip that off, lose a bit of skin. I always cut it in half before I pick, before I peel them right. Just like that. Simple. I don't like slicing an onion like that, so I'm just going to do it like this. There we go. So, next up, we're going to cook these down so we're just gonna use I think we're just gonna use this yeah it's my favorite dish so thank you Nana Jane again big respect to that big lady here we go right so let's get this on right so let's get cooking boys let's get cooking so we got that on we're just gonna get a little bit of olive oil in there um, now we're gonna get we're gonna go with the onions first We can do this high. We don't want to brown these too much, to be honest. We just want to cook them through, but I'm... What do I need? What do I need? I need a wooden spoon is what I need. So next up is leeks. Get those bad boys in. A little bit of salt. Christ, lost the top of it, didn't I? Right, bit of me old Pepsi. Bit of me Pepsi in there. Right, I need to stop clapping, don't I? It's annoying. Right, okay. I think I'm gonna stick a little bit of butter in this, just to give it Not much, that much butter. It's going in. 
we just want to cook these through really we don't want to we don't want them to get too brown so i'm just going to turn that down a little bit so yeah we don't want to overcook these this veg too much um we just want to soften it up really so we can add it to this because what we're going to do we're just going to add it to this roux um add the chicken and then we're going to chuck the pastry on top pastry wise i'm going to use puff pastry today so they're done now I'm going to add them to the sauce, shred that chicken up into it, and then we're going to add a bit of wine. I think we are going to add a, we're going to go wine. We're going to go some wine today. <laughs> so we've got the leeks and onions done. Um, we're just going to make up a roux, um, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And then we're going to incorporate the leeks into that, shred the chicken into it, let it, well, I'll do some mushrooms. Yeah, we're going to do some mushrooms, maybe chuck in a little bit of wine, give it a little bit of a richness and then we're just going to layer it with puff pastry i would actually recommend phyllo uh, for this dish it makes it a lot healthier as well and yeah i like phyllo on it it gives it a nice crispiness i like i like the pastry and it's a little bit better for you you know we've got to watch these figures as we're getting older so let's make the roux so we need to set this aside onions out and leeks right so next we are going to make a roux. A roux so for this we need 20 grams 25 grams of butter bang on I'm good right chuck that in 20 grams of flour plain flour is fine it's about probably about a tablespoon yeah, a little bit more, but it's fine. Put my little drug scales away. Right, so, watch very carefully. So we need to make this roux. If you've never made a roux before, you're an idiot. So what we need to do is melt the butter, turn it off the heat, mix in the flour, and you, you get this nice, well, roux, basically. So this is boiling away, so we can turn that off. Then we need to add the flour. So you just want it to all bind together. You want it to be a little bit more solid than that. So I may have to add a little bit more. Ah, that's all right, actually. That's off, isn't it? Yeah. That's fine. So that's kind of what you want. Because that's basically going to be our thickening agent. That's what a roux does. Right, so now we need our stock. Chicken stock for this. If you're a vegetarian or vegan, click off now. Right. So I'll just use a stock cube. You know, can't be asked to make my own stock. It's just a waste of time. So, next step. So we turn the pan back on. We probably want it moderate, medium to high. Now we're going to go in with the stock. I'm going to go with half of it. Oh no, fuck it, let's just do the whole lot. Right, now. Ideally you want to whisk this. Probably shouldn't whisk in this pan, but you know. Um, as you can see, it's thickening up straight away, so we definitely needed... Turn this right down, we don't want to burn, we do not want to burn this probably need a little bit more so 
Oh yeah, freaking good. See that's thickened up beautifully. It's probably a nice consistency that. So yeah, this is this is going lovely. No lumps. You don't want lumps. You want to take all the lumps out. That's why it's good to whisk it. I mean, this is this is different to your standard roux. A standard roux would be milk, uh, which would use for a cheese sauce or that kind kind of stuff. Uh, we don't really want that here because we're going to try and we cut the milk out. It makes it a bit healthier. I think the chicken stock roux just gives it a bit more flavour as well. As well, to be honest, it's, it's, you don't need it to be massively creamy. You want it just to be you want it to be chickeny, should I say? Chicken. Right. So I reckon our chicken is done. Speaking of the chickens. So let's get him out of the oven. He's done, I think. Have a little look. Oh yeah, beautiful. Right, I should have used the stock from this. Kind of forgot. What I might do is take a little ladle actually. Put a bit of that goodness in because that's going to be a much nicer chicken stock that is than the one I just made. That's fine. Right, so we're just going to let that cool down a bit before I start touching it. Push in there. Can we recycle to tinfoil? That's what I want to know. It's going in there. Right, so what's next? We're going to stick the leakies in. There we go, they go in. Give them a little mix together. Got a lovely consistency there. It's looking good this, looking really good. And then with the chicken. So chicken, what are we gonna do with the chicken? So we are going to just pull it apart. Use fork like this so you can use your hands. I mean, this is quite hot, so I'm... it's what you want. You just want those lovely sh shreddedness. To... Okay. Now the chicken's going to go in. Try not to waste anything. Okay. So we stir this in. Oh, that looks fantastic, that does. So that's your filling done pretty much. I'm just gonna adjust the flavor. So always recommend you try it. I'm not really seasoned this much, so I mean, we've got the stock in there, so we don't need too much salt. Uh, a little bit of cream in at this stage would be nice. Uh, but you don't need it, it's quite creamy. Um, what do I want? I'm going to put a little bit of this garlic and herbs salt in it just to give it something. A little kick. Right. That essentially is our filling done. Now we need to let this cool now before we can put the pastry on it. Um, so you can just go off and play Xbox or and then come back when this is cool and we're going to put the pastry on it. Okay. I think it's lovely consistency that. I don't think I need to add any more stock. Let me just try it again. Yeah, that's fucking good, man. Really good. And you can stick any veg in this. Mm. Mm. It's incredible. Right. So that's that's the filling done. Let's go make the pastry. Now we're going to do the pastry before we put these bad boys in the oven. Um, I would say. You want this at about 200, 180, something like that. It's probably a good temperature. Right, so we've got our pies in our little dishes. Right, so we've got that lovely pastry that I cooked earlier. Boxed it up especially. Right. So, the hands are floured. We're ready to uh, prepare this pastry. So, I think the best thing to do here, get this, chuck, just chuck it over. We got enough for two out of that, it's easy, easily enough. We're on a nice thick layer of pastry. Let's have a knife. 
Oops. Obviously cut round the size that you need. Like so. Ah, oh, look at that, it's beautiful. Go on before, seal it up. Couple of brief holes. Okay, right, so get a little egg wash. That's what we need to do next. A little egg wash. Little tip of the day here. Add a little touch of water, just a trickle. Okay, just breaks up the egg a little bit. Get ourselves with a brush. Get that nice and coated, it's golden pastry. Right. So I forgot to say earlier, um, I actually forgot to add the bacon. Uh, you can have pancetta if you like, which is what we normally do. Uh, what I would suggest is cook the pancetta up, probably when you're doing the leeks, maybe just before. Cook them up so nice and crispy, take them out, then do the leeks. I should have done that, I forgot. I also forgot to put the mushrooms in. I've just chucked them in raw. They're gonna cook fine apparently, so. They're gonna cook fine. So, yeah, let's crack on. All right, okay, so, in the oven we go with it. Bang them on for about 20 minutes, keep an eye on them. As soon as the pastry starts cooking to your liking, take them out and eat the buggers. So, let's get these bad boys out. So they've been in about, so they've been at about 20 minutes. Now we're gonna get them out, they're lovely, looking beautiful. Oh, look at them. That's us done. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, turn on the notifications, and peace out.